hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gigi. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. It is great to see you. This tree right here, they're all over my neighborhood. They are blooming like crazy and I'm so inspired by them. So I thought, hey, let's do it on a nail. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is a triple ombre. That's right, a three color ombre today. And we're gonna do it on all three of these nails and we are gonna do this blue at the top. It's kind of a periwinkly blue, sort of. And then underneath that, we are gonna come in with this pretty lilac-y pink color. And at the bottom, we're gonna use a darker, more bright pink. I love the combo of these three colors and they ombre together really nice. Honestly, this is the Beatles collection. I'm a fan of how they ombre. I did not have too much trouble with it. I've also found out for my own just, you know, purposes and my own experimentation on ombre and just watching tons of videos of other people's techniques. I really just have found that running my brush through the entire nail, instead of just trying to stick to the line where they connect, has really brought my, my ombre game to the next level. Like it's really, like you can see the two next to the nail now, they're already done. Look at how good that ombre looks. And it's just, to me, it's a light touch with the brush and this is my little ombre brush. Light touch with the brush and dragging all the way through the nail. It really has helped me to grow my practice where ombres are concerned. Now I am coming in with some base coat just to make sure everything's nice and smooth because we are going to paint on these. Uh, you do wanna take the sticky layer off though before you start painting because a sticky layer is sticky and you don't get as nice a smooth application with your with your gel paints as you do if it's you know got that sticky layer so I removed the sticky layer and then I'm just coming in with my tiny detailer brush and just making some nice wiggly little lines and those lines are going to be our little branches for the tree now I'm not going to actually draw a tree just some nice lacy branches. Kind of like you're looking through the very edges of the tree, you know? Oh, my nose is starting to run. I swear there's something about when I do a voiceover, I think I'm self-sabotaging. <laughs> Cause I often get a little bit of a runny nose and it's not like it's not like a ton, just, just a little, just a little. <laughs> now what I do like to do when I'm putting down these branches is just sort of start with the line and then come in and thicken it in places and wiggle it extra in places and just make sure that I have that branch feeling that I'm looking for. You could absolutely use the same technique to make like, cause to me, these are kind of like um, lightning shapes, right? Tree branches and lightning branches, they look very similar. Is that what you call them, lightning branches? I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe though, I don't know. Oh my goodness, that's so hilarious. Let's look it up. Um, I don't know guys. Huh, I'm gonna have to look that up because I'm really, really curious about lightning branches now. Is it called branches? Do you know? Let me know in the comment section below. But now on the branches, what we're gonna do is do those little dot, dot heart. Okay, I can speak. Dot hearts, dot hearts. That's a little harder to say than you think. So two dots and then bring it into a heart shape because these trees have like elongated heart shaped leaves and so that's what i'm doing just making long heart shapes with uh this model one's gel which that's what the brown was too model one's cream gels you guys know i love those now as far as the heart shapes go honestly that's a little easier to do with a thinner gel but um this is the color i liked and so i went with it i went with it 
And so we're just gonna dot, dot, and then make a little heart and make it kind of long. But you don't have to, you can do actual like short little heart shapes. I like long hearts too though, and I thought it looked pretty cute. Pretty cute. I am gonna skip, you know, a little chunk of these because honestly, you guys, you know, you know, you know how to make some hearts. Yeah, you do. I'm pretty good with the dot hearts. Um, the freehand hearts, still working on that. Still, still trying to master that. Honestly, I think as I up my brush game, which I feel like is going to happen pretty soon. It's time to start bringing in some new brushes. Uh, I think that's going to help my art a lot. Just, just intensifying that brush game. So now what we're going to do is move into some glitter time. These are going to be little white confetti glitters with a, a touch of holographic. And you'll, you'll see when we get there. Oh, I'm trying to get a tickly throat, you guys. Let me have a drink right now. Let me have a drink right now. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so right here I'm making a huge mistake. Like, huge! This is not my vision at all. I just grabbed some glitters and threw them on, and I was realizing right about here, this isn't the look I want. So I start spreading them around and playing, and then I start to realize what I want is just three in a grouping. Three little tiny glitters in a grouping. And I start to work in that direction, I think right now. Yeah, here we go, here we go. I figured out right here, this is the size glitter I like and doing three together looks super, super cute. So that's what I start doing from this point forward. Now I am only gonna show you this one because, whoo, guys, if you decide to do this, this part is very tedious. Now you could absolutely do this with a dotting tool. I just thought though that the look of the glitter is exactly what I saw in my mind. And it reminds me so much of the little flowers in that tree. And so if you have the white confetti glitters, give it a try if you, if you do this, because it does, in my mind, just elevate the look a little bit. It gives it more of a 3D, almost a quality, without being too bumpy or big. And it just gives it a very delicate sort of finish. And it just, it made me really happy. But again, you could 100% just do this with some, some really pretty white polish or any color you like. You could do pink. I'm sure there's some pink trees out there like that that are blooming right now. I do live in uh, Central California, so... It doesn't get as cold here and it's starting to become springtime already. So um, that's why I'm getting this experience. I know lots of people in the country or world slash world are not having that experience right now. So guys, I'm sorry if that's not your experience. I hope you love winter because it's not quite over yet. Um, and shout out to the people in Texas. I know you've been going through it lately. So all my love coming at you. So we are just finishing up those little bits of white glitter. And I'm also finishing here, removing, yeah, there we go. Those last little big glitters that were just ruining that look. And we're just gonna come in and fix that corner with the tinier white glitters. Now see how much, how delicate and cute it is. I really, I really like the effect of it. So then once I get all these on, what I'm going to do is go ahead and cure this. And then we are going to come back in. And here you can see there's the other two. Well, one of the other two is finished. Um, I'm going to come back in with another base coat. And in the middle of those threes, I'm just coming in with a single holographic silver glitter 
just one little glitter. And when you move it in the light, it's so pretty how just the middle of each little flower shines and glints a different color. It, it really is a nice effect. Um, I, as soon as I did the first one, I was like, oh yeah, that's it. I do have a second larger size sitting there. I wasn't sure which one I was going to use, but the smaller one was the right choice because it doesn't obscure any of the white glitters. It shows up, you see it, it, it shines, but you still see the flower around it, which I thought was really important. And then once we get all of those placed, we are going to go ahead and once again pop that in the lamp for a full cure and while that's curing these two nails just got one of of the pink colors one's darker one's the lighter color and we're coming in with some chrome and i'm just going to burnish that in really nicely to give it almost a silky sort of shine we're going to use that technique in the next video as well because it's time for some arabian nights guys look forward to that it is a coming and if you liked this video guys please consider subscribing and sharing this video here we go with some taco time time to make it all shine yeah baby let's go in with those top coat layers and today for the base and top coats we were using e-nail couture uh the top coat we're using is the wonder gel I'm almost out of it. I'm just using it up. I'm probably not going to purchase it again, but as soon as it's empty, it'll go in our empties box. So at the end of the year, we can do our favorites and fails. There was something on the brush. We were just cleaning that off. I'm really pleased with how these came out, guys. I think they are super, super cute very wearable for spring, really, really fun, very eye-catching. If you're looking for a, a, just a delicate look that brings some nature onto your nails, this is the set, you guys. This is the set. Here it is, the finished set. Please let me know in the comment section what you thought. There'll be some reveals starting right now. Bye-bye, guys.